burning faggots. All right, guys, Rocks. we're back here with Victor in Portland, Oregon. How's it yeah, going, to Victor? Us. Woo! Good. What have you been up to today? Uh, you know, trying to stay uh, level-headed, uh, cleaning, and trying to pick up trash after not just myself, but all others with bringing myself forward to every step of the day, getting better and better. Sunshines and Lockheeds of missiles going off in America. Congratulations to our war propaganda. How Doing good. How old are you, man? Uh, as old as the gold. <laughs> Yeah. So pretty young. No, as old as the dump that trucked us, you know. Uh, 27. 27, huh? Yeah. Feels like I'm 28, though. How, uh, how long have you been out as in the an streets, activist? bro? Uh, since activation of a uh, button being uh, problemed of, uh, I guess, prog. Prognosis and signals of uh, synapticals and icicles with problem line of two cities running from each other but not one but one man standing between home rests and homesteads for no good homesteading reasons but trying to find a lick of a I guess what the clit of all the war was for was our flag was the freedom of our colors and the choices are tense then and that is the tense of the circus of RLA, you know? The message of what we choose is, I guess, our critical of Notre Dame and the fall of every tent that blows away is that of probably a hot crux of wizards and faraway times of probably galaxies for as far as oceans are and seas, seven. But getting lucky with the seventh sun it's Jesus Christ, and every day with him is a heart and warming of knowing that it was not the compromisation of two cities, but two cities trying to idle a man's fruitful wish to be free and find a degree <clears throat> to his masonry. Hey, bro, uh, and not how, temple is supreme. So how long have you been out in the streets, bro? Uh, <clears throat> well... I could say I started on the streets, but I mean, as, as a kid, you know? Uh, How old? I was probably about five when I ran after my brother, and that was when he ran away. So once one runs, then you run after, you know? Even if it's a step or two, but since then, uh, I've been on the run to try and chase brotherly love of adopted uh, parents and having to know that it's not blood parents, but blood of brothers, you know what I mean? Um, where do you sleep at night? Uh, wherever my head hits first. <laughs> yeah. Of spots you have a of, tent? Yeah, that's the tent spot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of actual, you know, trying to stay even keeled to drugs and I guess what you call them in the moment, the generals of general society, accelerations of happy and worried about the propolis of coronavirus and the pandemic of our 19 masks of eventual kingdoms, right? Do you have any kids, bro? Uh, yeah, I do, I think. But oh, really? I've been to uh, other, uh, other worlds like Europe and being adopted, you kind of find uh, sons and daughters of your own, you know, as you move along. And to even call my mother my daughter would be not even privileged of being, you know, totally. Does any family or friends come check up on you, man? Yeah. No, That's I mean, we, we have, uh, you know, our ways of uh, saying hello, like cells and towers of homage of the beasts network, you know. Even Facebook, you know. Uh, I mean, MySpace had a, who was that, a Mark, right? Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah. I mean, hey bro, uh, we all got what friends. Happened, what happened to your face, bro? It looks like you got scarred up pretty bad. Yeah, dude. Uh, I asked the guy <laughs> to be young, and he gave me the youthful time of a uh, continuum of a bike tire. Yeah. He ran over you? Or what happened? Uh, I mean, he pretty much ran over my steps of trying to step up on this curb, but that was all, you know. Uh, 
I guess a concussion of my tens, you know. How long ago did that happen? Oh, uh, that happened three years ago now back. Wow. Yeah, about that. Probably, what kind uh, of struggles almost. besides that do you face being out here in the streets? Asking and asking for forgiveness is my own concerns of, I guess my own concerns of conservating and being a democratized Republican of the fall of governments, you know, and the law and order of which it was standing of running in the first place to being just scared of being prevalent to having to face fears of talking and being honest to the truth of which is of, I guess, Disney talk shows and being slimed by, uh, I guess, shows of uh, lettermans and asking point views of uh, sacraments of terrorists and attackers and attacking, you know, uh, a higher Illuminati sense of, you know, religious and the orders of, I guess, the imperialist uh, Illuminati society of America, which is Illuminati nation in a song of blurs, you know, that's all I see, you know, is the higher and trying to put, put, put the pieces back to my own puzzle without having to write my name on the wall in Bloods, Crips, and KKK. To knowing that there's marksmen and throwing knives was that of a hatchet. And I killed a tree when I was eight, you know? And no doubt in sinful matters, it probably brought me to seeping that of what I sow and rot, to, you know? To smoking and knowing if it's we burn, then I burn with the cherries, you know? And luckily it was the cherry wood, you know? Because I'm never going to smoke cherries because they belong on the tits of Hey, bro, do everywhere. you do the blues? Yeah, yeah. How, how many blues do you do a day? Well, if you could put them inside a real of uh, <laughs> a minigun, you'd probably have a whole hole in the A blue bear. If you had to guess, how many do you do a day, blues? Probably a duplex. What's that? Duplex, maybe a triplex, and stuff. Having always the extra drum, you know what I mean? Because you hit it once, you hit it twice, but the third time you go down, and the count is one, two, and to the mind of Sirius, I guess he was a star of aliens for the Pope's cardinals, and God bless those who give him their lives for this pandemic, because not many sacrifices are made, but to believing in uh, cardinals and the puffs of arms and legs for America at a time of actual incredulence of being so self-guilt by throwing the hatchet, saying it was actually the hatchet that killed the tree of the stem, you know? Hey, bro, have you ever overdosed before? No. That's good, bro. Yeah, have I you passed ever out. Yeah. But I wouldn't say overdosing was a uh, any kind of fact of what a liking is to loving all the way till pretty much rampaging on uh, five. Have, have you ever had to save somebody from an overdose? Yeah, I have. What happened? Uh, there was a man, and he was, uh, I guess he was drowning in a pool. This was when I was back in, you know, lifeguard. And... I had to go and grab him, and I'm pretty sure he was totally high, or maybe he was smoking uh, meth, I don't know. I don't think meth did it, but I think he was drunk, and I don't know. Could have been uh, Everclear, I think it was, you know. And that stuff's easy to, you know, come by, but to get drunk off it is definitely to overdose on love and tranquility and, you know, fabulous sins, you know, of overleaving our livers, you know. We get nine. Have lives you ever been to jail cats. before, bro? Yeah, yeah. What for? Uh, well, there was a federal crime of uh, there was a national bank, not too far away from here. That I went inside and stole a bunch of lollipops and laffy taffies and you know uh, stole the cards and was trying to tell the cameras that the airport of the New World Order that was being described over here was an ash of actual, like, uh, Japan's notices of seeds and times of predicaments of angels. 
fallen on movies <clears throat> of the White House, you know, and being down at a time of 20 is definitely a count of dollars for, you know, our time of thinking. Hey, bro, uh, what message do you have for family or friends if they end up Demons are real, and Satan is only real to the demons <laughs> that you believe. And if you believe that, then the Antichrist will win. And if he does that, then there is no second coming. Because if really the apocalypse did happen, when I saw the TV deflament, you know, into, I must have been high off Angus Hybrid, but Oregon does have the finest weed, and that's why I'm here. But, Would you be okay with me posting this on my YouTube channel, bro? Uh, only if the butterfly affects your weatherling. So, you know, I'm not gonna judge or, you know, tell you how to ennoble your acronyms of Chevron. And but would you be okay with it, bro? Gas line pipers of journalists, you know, but Is there was a yes or a no, bro? Yeah, no, oh, there's sweet. Thanks, Alaska bro. ways, dude. Uh, would you be okay Airways with doing a way. follow-up interview in the future, bro? Yeah, dude. I and mean, if you, you want to cash me at the ash when I uh, prick up the grail and throw it back down at the airports of uh, the White House down, you can catch me every last uh, crypt of uh, Valdemar and his Putin because he had two dogs, and we all know he has four, and they're down to hell, you know? And the matter of assassinations that he did for us is insane. So if you want to talk to the Harlem Illuminati, then go ahead and kill the crypts and the gangs because it's KKK for the bloods because there was no blood that went down the sewer lines. It was a lock in this, you know. Uh, well, I appreciate your time. Thank you, bro. Monsters, sprites, yeah. Thank you, bro.